Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Um, my match pre preview from Man City versus Brighton at the Etihad uh, this coming Wednesday. Um, guys, I hope you'll stand with me when I want to wish Alex folks on a speedy recovery. Uh, obviously what happened to him on Saturday, it's not nice. We all come together when it happens in the beautiful game. So, Sir Alex, get well soon. Um, you've done amazingly in the world of football. Uh, hope to see you back on your feet soon. Um, get well soon, Sir Alex. Uh, right, guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, obviously, our last five games, Brighton have won, drawed, Drawed, lost, drawed. Man City have drawed, won, won, lost. Uh, now the last time we met, uh, two 0 at the MX to Man City. Um, we held them off for seventy minutes, uh, and then end up getting two quick goals. Uh, one after the other. One was the worst own guy if I remember. Um, so, anyway, uh, my 1 to 11, I'm going for a 4 4 2 this week. So, guys, this is my 1 to 11. In goal, I've gone with Nicky Ment now. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing any of your names. Uh, speculation that I want to keep him. And. Tim calls futures up in the air, um, so that's why I've gone with Nicky Mento in goal. Uh, at right back, I've gone with Shalotto. Now Shalotto has dropped to the bench in the past couple of games, and Bruno's worked his way back in um, to help us push over the line. Uh, so I'll put Shalotto back in for this game. In right centre back, I have gone with Conor Goldston. Yet again, players fighting for contracts. I think Conor Goldston is one of them players Brighton do want to keep, if only loan out. Uh, they did try at the start of this season, but did not work out. So that's why I've gone with Conor Goldston to start this game. Uh, in left centre back, I have gone with Lewis Dunk. <coughs> Speculation about him leaving, um, but. Uh, I, I can't see it. I can't see the cars putting up that much money if they want to buy him. Uh, I reckon if clubs want to buy him, speak on, on, on all honesty. Obviously, no international caps. I reckon it'd be about 15 million. Brian be asking somewhere around that price range. Uh, but I can't see him leaving. But let's see what happens in the summer. But anyway, Lewis Dunk, you're in my starting 11. In left back, I've gone with Marcus Sutgar. Um, now, yet again, fighting for contract. Ain't played a lot this season, Marcus Sutgar. He's played a few start, start games of the season, Bond bon being injured. Um, so, that's why I put Marcus Sutgar back in. Obviously, I want to keep our best players, and yet again, fighting for contracts. In left mid, I've gone with Sonny March. Uh, now, yet again, same problem. Managed to get in the line up a couple, couple of times this season, but uh, ain't really played from the start. Just came off from the bench, made an impact. Maybe that's his best thing. I seriously don't know. I find it hard to tell from a fan perspective. Um, but yeah, again, we've got two great wingers in Iguero and Knockhart. In left centre mid, I have gone with Brown Kyle. Very unlucky not to be in the starting of the team uh, against Man United. Uh, I was quite surprised to see David Popper to come back in, straight back in um, from the suspension. I remember when Tom Hemmer got suspended. 
uh, we expected Hull to come back in after three games and he didn't and obviously it looks like he's leaving Tom if you do leave thanks for what you've done for the club um, obviously it would be a shame to see you go still in your part of the promotion team uh, to the Premier League uh, but yeah and left mid left centre mid sorry I'll go with Brown Kai out to come back in uh, in right centre mid I'll go with Dale Stevens. Uh, all had a blinding game on Friday. I, I said I thought, but I've gone with the old, old school formation, uh, old school sort of team. If you know what I mean. Um, so for right centre mid, I go with uh, Dale Stevens. Right mid, man of the match on Friday night. Um, Anthony Knockart. Can't knock any of their performances. Um, I think Knockhart had a blinding game, uh, but so did everyone. I can't knock anyone's performance. Um, so, anyway, right mid, right mid, sorry, uh, anti Knockhart. Uh, now, my two strikers, one is. Uh, Leonardo De Jura now his future's up in the air uh, I personally don't, don't know whether Brighton will try and get him on a permanent deal I would like to see him to do it um, but whether they will or not it's left to be seen obviously if Le Jura comes in then I think Sam Bulldog will be out of the of the club um, obviously Sam Bulldog get then ain't getting any games um, so we we'll have to wait and see on that one. And my second one is our new striker, who he spent fourteen million pound on, uh, is Laguardia. Um, now I've seen him quite a few times in the first team. Uh, he he does look like a good striker. I can see why Chris Shooton didn't play him a lot. Uh, obviously I am on social media and. You know, I've seen players like knocking, oh, he's not fit, he's not that. But then, I, I don't plan, and yet they come, they come on, and then they go, why didn't he start, why didn't he... Um, obviously, he can't have both ways. Um, but, he really does look like a good striker. Being with, with the rest of the squad, um, now, for next summer, for next season, I reckon we've got quite a sh good striker there. Uh, all I need to work on is their link up play and I reckon we'll be safe again next season but anyway this is my 1 to 11 this is my match preview guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and ciao for now